Well, today is D-Day for Finance Minister Tito Mbaweni's midterm budget policy statement. Of course, SABC having you covered throughout the day with this policy statement and also bringing you some previews. So let's begin that first preview. And uh, on standby, just outside Parliament, we've got uh, Nompu Siziba. She's there. She's covering it for us. Looking forward to getting a bit of a preview from her. Nompu, good morning to you. Thanks very much. Uh, sadly, I can't hear you. I don't have my earpiece on today at the moment. But of course, today is a very big day. It's the midterm budget. And of course, there's a lot of weight laying on the finance minister, Tito Mboweni's shoulders. Uh, South Africa is at a, at, a, at a cliff edge in terms of its debt. Are we going to get into a debt spiral? And there are concerns that if we don't change that we, the way that we do things in South Africa, uh, then we might very well get into that situation. What is a debt spiral? A debt spiral basically means that we've taken on too much debt and the cost of servicing that debt is so high that we're not able to service and uh, afford other priorities like education, social welfare, uh, infrastructure, all those good things that will help the economy. So we need to get to a point where we fix that. And of course, President Ramaphosa came out with the Economic Reconstruction and Recovery Plan, which seeks to try and change the trajectory that we've been on thus far and of course the key thing that analysts are saying is that this um, plan has to be executed timelessly they need to be timelines and they need to be executed very quickly one of the areas that the president highlighted was, of course, Spectrum. And, of course, Spectrum was supposed to have been released, Extra, extra Spectrum was supposed to have been released uh, quite a while ago, but for some reason between um, the regulator and the government, it's just been delayed and delayed. We understand that that's going to be released come March next year, and hopefully that goalpost won't be moved. We've had good news, of course, coming out from the Department of Mineral Resources and Energy, just in terms of... We've had good news just from them around um, excess electricity now being able to be generated um, and they've put out a request for proposals for the likes of renewable energy IPPs to come into play and produce energy. The president promising that we should have a more stabilised electricity supply environment in the next two years with some 11,800 megawatts of power being available to the economy. That's quite substantial. That's about uh, a quarter of what we already have. Of course, most of it tends to be not working, which is why we've tended to have load shedding and so on and so forth. But a lot, there's a lot at stake uh, today, of course, and we will be giving you updates. I hope that I will have a couple of guests to speak to. The precinct is rather quiet. Otherwise, we'll be speaking to MPs to get their take before and after the midterm budget. That's all from me. It's back to you in studio.